Hello, my beautiful nerdy friends. What's up, guys? Okay, so I have a new hobby. <laughs> some of my friends at my local game store have been getting really into cosplay and have been making some really, really cool stuff. So I've been hanging out at my game store and I've just been like watching what they've been building and making because they bring stuff in to show everybody. And I've just been like, oh my God, I need to try this. I need to try this. Have you ever, like, does that ever happen to you guys when like you see something or see something online or see somebody doing something and you're just like, dude, this needs to be a part of my life now. Like this needs to be my new thing. Like, does that ever happen? Well, that happened to me a couple weeks ago. So I ran to my local Hobby Lobby and I've been watching a bunch of like cosplay YouTube channels and stuff like that. I got a bunch of stuff in order to get started into the cosplay hobby. I'm thinking I'm just gonna start with like some small weapons and daggers and stuff like that. Maybe like um, make some Daedric daggers from Skyrim. Um, but anyway, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna make first, but something kind of small. But I wanna show you everything I just got. So this is gonna be like my starter cosplay just jumping into the hobby hall so like all the basics there's still a few things that i need i wasn't able to find a few things but let me show you what i did get before we get started though give me a thumbs up all right very first thing most important is aba foam i got this is gigantic and there's not enough room to really show it to you guys but i got some really thick big roll of eva foam it is high density. This particular roll is 10 millimeters thick. So hopefully I'll be able to make some really cool stuff with that. But then I also got a thinner roll of EVA foam as well. And this one is three millimeters thick. It is basically just gonna be used for um, embellishments, I think, and things like that. So this one is a lot thinner. So anyway, here's the foam that I got. Then I, dude, you guys, this though, this next thing I'm gonna show you, I am so freaking excited about. I have seen so many people make really, really cool stuff with this online on all the cosplay YouTube channels that I've been watching. And this is basically foam clay. So it is a clay that's a foam and it like sticks to, it'll stick to your EVA foam if you get it wet. So you can mold it and shape it and do all kinds of crazy cool details and stuff. I cannot wait to see what I'm gonna make with this stuff. All right, so there's that. Um, I also got a couple cans of this. Ouch. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> I just hit my elbow. I also got a couple cans of this. This is called Plasti Dip. And basically it is a rubber sealant. Um, it's basically like a rubber coating that you spray on your piece right before you paint it. And it just basically seals the piece so it takes the paint better. All the, uh, all the cosplay channels I've been watching use this stuff and spray it all right before. Spray it with this stuff, a couple coats of it right before they paint their weapons or their whatever they're making. So I got a couple cans. And I also went to Home Depot I got some PVC pipes. Um, I got a couple different thicknesses. I'm not entirely sure what thickness I'm going to use yet. These are just for like hilts and handles and and stuff, you know, so that you can actually like have something to grab grip onto, you know. Um, obviously, I'm going to be cutting it down to down to more of like a hilt like size. And um, but yeah, we will see how that goes. But anyway, I did get some PVC pipe, and one of the last things I got was I got a couple of aluminum rods. I'm not entirely sure if these were the best thing to get or not, um, but we'll see. This is what I'm gonna start off with for my first couple projects. And then I might, I might do something else after that, but this is basically just to go in the center of a weapon or sword or whatever in order to give it some support. Um, because this stuff is pretty thick, but uh, like once like you build up, once like you get it kind of long, I don't think it can really support itself that well. And you need something on the inside of your weapon to support it. So I got some aluminum rods. I really don't know if these are the best things to use or not for that, but it's what I could find. And I'll only improve from here. We will, I'll figure things out, do a couple trial runs and yeah. 
So there are a few more things I need to get. I want to get some contact cement, um, but for some reason, I live in a really small town and I couldn't find contact cement anywhere, like not even at Home Depot. I don't know. Um, I think I'll probably end up ordering it, but yeah, I might try one more store this weekend. But anyway, I went to, I've gone to a couple stores um, looking for it and just couldn't find it. But anyway, so I'll probably end up ordering it, but I'm definitely gonna get some contact cement. This is basically just helps glue all the pieces of EVA foam together and helps like, you know, the rod stay in the middle and you know, it's contact cement, it's, it's a glue basically. And the other thing I really need to pick up is a respirator <laughs> because um, sanding down EVA foam, sanding down the edges of this stuff um, is actually really toxic to breathe in all those EVA foam particles. So you need a respirator. A lot of times cosplayers, I've seen them heat um, EVA foam up and I've also seen them heat up their PVCs in order to like bend them into all different, you know, shapes and stuff. Um, so you could have like curved hilts or you know, whatever you wanna do. And that's also really, really highly toxic, all those fumes are. But the main thing is like dremeling the EVA foam and sanding it can be highly toxic with all the particles and stuff. So I will need to find a respirator somewhere. I actually haven't even looked for a respirator because we are kind of in the middle of a pandemic and um, they're kind of hard to find and we live in a small town. So I have just kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna actually gonna be able to find one or not. Um, but I do have friends that own respirators, so I might go raid my friend's garage later. But I will have a respirator before I actually start sanding and heating and molding and all that stuff. So, and dremeling and all that. So anyway, this is like my basic starter cosplay craft haul. I'm gonna go make something. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm gonna make something small, just start tiny, you know and work my way up from there. If you are a cosplayer and you know things, let, let me know, give me tips in the comments below. Also, if you guys follow any really cool cosplay YouTube channels, leave the links to those YouTube channels in the comments below as well. I would love to check them out. If you have a cosplay YouTube channel, let me know. I will definitely check out your channel. I would love all the tips that I could possibly get and I'll let you guys know how my first build goes, whatever it is. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button so that I can see more your face and you can see more my face. I will see you in the next video very soon. I love you, bye.